What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com, home of your favorite type rating center, where we actually, yes, issue type ratings. I say that loud and clear, folks, because you know how many times we get a call, they're ordering videos, I'm using your program to help me through a type rating that I'm struggling with, and I'm like, well, why didn't you just come to us from the beginning? I didn't know you issued type ratings. Folks, we issue type ratings. We were only a video company until 2021, and now we can do type ratings, and we have been able to for several years. So with that being said, we're gonna talk about the 737. Specifically, we're gonna talk about the save your life switch, okay? Which one is that, Joe? That is the stab trim override on the aft pedestal. Hopefully you can see this way down here. Okay, I realize the picture's a little pixelated, but it's this one. It's the control column override switch. Now, usually when I tell people, oh, we're gonna talk about the stab trim override or the control column override switch, they mistake it for this one. This is your stab trim override switches, which is part of your memory item for runaway stabilizer. Eventually, we actuate that switch there. But that's not the one we're talking about today. Now, I'm going to highlight the differences of both. I'm gonna give you a real world scenario where you can save your life with the save your life switch. And you gotta understand why I call it that, folks, because the scenario that I'm gonna share with you here, you're gonna see how clearly it truly is a time critical switch that you may need to get to. There is no memory item for the scenario I'm gonna give you. And most times when I ask crew, what is this switch down here, the stab trim override switch for the control column actuated cutout switch, they usually say that's, that's, the, uh, that's where you hold the trash bag, you know? That's what holds the trash bag in the flight deck, okay? which may or may not be the case, but I'm gonna share with you something now critical to safety of flight. This is FCOM Volume 2. Everything systems related comes out of FCOM Volume 2. I'm in Chapter 9, which is flight controls. I'm gonna read it to you so you don't have to read it because you know we like to keep things simple for you here at One Step Rep. Now, the first thing it talks about here is the stab trim main electric cutout switch and the stab trim autopilot cutout switch located on the control stand are provided okay let me hang on a second to be clear we are now talking in this particular paragraph we're talking about the stab trim cutout switch in the center pedestal here by the throttle quadrant okay what are those there for according to fcom volume 2 to cut out uh, they are provided to allow the autopilot or main electric trim inputs to be disconnected from the stabilizer trim motor. So it disconnects autopilot and your pickle switch, if you will, your main electric trim switch on the yoke. P set that aside for a second. We go down to the next paragraph. Control column actuated stabilizer trim cutout switches. Read that again, slowly. Let's talk about that. Control column actuated control column, the column, actuated, stabilizer trim cutout switches, stop operation of the main electric and autopilot trim when the control column movement opposes trim direction. When the stab trim override switch is positioned to override, electric trim can be used regardless of control column position. What does that mean? Simply, Joe, here's what it means, okay? If you have a runaway stabilizer, nose up, and, and I put the DC-10 model here because I realize it's not a 737, but it's the largest model we have in the office and for the pur purpose of it being on camera, nice and large for you to see, that's why we're using it. The concept aerodynamically is the same principle. If I have a runaway stabilizer, nose up, okay, nose up, the first thing you're gonna do without thinking about it, you're not gonna think about it. Let me do a memory item. You're not gonna think about it. The first thing you're gonna do is what? Push forward on the control column. Now, fortunately, we have a control column actuated stabilizer trim cutout switch that stops the operation of the main electric and autopilot trim when the control column movement opposes the trim input. So if the runaway trim is nose high, this way, and the column opposes the input that way, it should stop the runaway. And it will, assuming that it is an uncommanded electric or autopilot trim command. Obviously, if it's a, an issue with a jack screw or something like that, it's a different story. But the point is really that pushing forward on it, in the case of a nose up, or pulling back, in the case of a nose down, opposing, should stop it. Now, why does it do that? Well, to give you time, 
to analyze, to assess and say, wow, we have a runaway stabilizer because I didn't command it and the autopilot's not on. So the autopilot didn't command it. So we do indeed have a runaway stabilizer. I need to apply the memory item, control column hold firmly, autopilot if engaged, disengage, among auto throttle, and then if runaway continues, stop trim switch is cut out. Now I gotta go through that analysis process to then deploy the proper memory item and to buy some time, Boeing, rightly so and conveniently for us, put this control column actuated stabilizer trim cutout switch. So it's a good thing. It's a safety feature to buy you time to apply the memory item. Here's the drawback to this. I give you a different scenario where you're rolling down the runway. V1, rotate, and you start rotating, and you pull the nose up, and now you're into the flight director about 15 degrees nose high, and off you are, you're climbing, right? Now again, to, to get there, what did you do? You pulled back. So now here's your control column in this position. Now let's say it jams in this position. It jammed in this position, in the aft position. Without thinking, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna try to push, oh, it's stuck. And the next thing you're gonna do to try to control pitch is probably what? Trim. You're gonna try to trim, naturally. And you're not gonna be able to, why not? Because the control column, actuated stabilizer trim cutout switch will have stopped the operation of the main electric trim because the control column movement or input opposes the trim input. You're trying to trim down with the column back. It won't do it. It's contrary to what, have you ever pulled back and trimmed nose down? No, and you haven't done the opposite either. So now the safety feature is not really in your best interest of safety anymore, unfortunately. That's where the switch, the save your life switch comes into play which is this one back here, stab trim override, where you say, hey, wait a minute, the control column is in a position that is not desirable. I need to actuate my main electric trim, but I can't because it's, the column is stuck in an opposite direction. But if you quickly go here to the stab trim and put it in the override position, now you can trim either which way, doesn't matter, regardless of control column position because we're overriding, hence why it's called the stab trim override switch, we're overriding the control column actuated cutout switch so that now I can trim any which direction. Now, is this a memory item? No. Does this appear in the QRH, Joe? Yeah. Where? Chapter nine, flight controls, jammed or restricted flight controls. That's where it appears. It's not a memory item. And it appears a little bit later in the checklist where it, it, it effectively asks, take you down a little further, okay? It says, step eight, use stabilizer or rudder trim to offload control forces. If electric stabilizer trim is needed, move the stabilizer trim override switch to override. That's the reference to that switch. This is really the only checklist where this appears. And prior to that, to give you some context, it says, step seven, choose one, controls are normal. Yeah, they're normal, I don't need the switch. Or, controls are not normal, go to step eight. Step eight, hit the override switch because they're not normal and now I might need to trim for use of my pitch control. Now normally, okay, if you come to UPRT, Upset Prevention Recovery Training, or EET, as we call it in the US, Extended Envelope Training, we do an, a scenario with this switch and we talk about this. Uh, and, and ultimately what I teach there is, look, we primarily move the axes of the airplane utilizing the, the primary flight control surface, right? So, so for pitch, I generally don't trim the airplane somewhere. I use the elevator to get it there and then I trim off the pressure. Right? I roll by means of aileron. So I pitch with elevator, I roll with aileron, I yaw with rudder. Okay, that's the dominant flight control surface for that given axis of flight. Do I have other ways to do that? Yeah, I could always pitch with thrust vectoring. I could pitch with trim. I could roll with differential thrust. I could roll by yaw, by inducing a yaw via rudder to couple to a roll, especially in a swept wing jet. There's other ways to actuate the various axes of flight but typically, we wanna utilize the dominant flight control surface first. But if the column's jammed and I can't in the pitch axis, I need to use the trim, which would be the secondary means for pitch 
control. And the only way you can maybe be able to do that effectively is to hit the override switch. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, that switch in the aft pedestal, it does a lot more than hold a trash bag, okay? It does a lot more than be referenced for one singular time in Chapter 9 QRH of the flight control section where we talk about a jammed or restricted surface of a flight control. It is a switch that you should be well aware of because in a moment of you needing elevator pitch control because your control column is jammed, so in a moment of really you needing stabilizer trim, it would be good that you know that you have a switch there that is your friend. And with that being said, I hope you come visit your friends here in Miami, OneStepPrep.com, OneStepPrepAcademy.com, the type rating center that is FAA approved, that does issue types, that does do ATP, CTP, that issues FAA licenses. We'll see you here.